Well, this weekend, millions of Americans went to the movies to see the new thriller, Lucy. It's the story of a 25-year-old drug mule whose secret cargo actually unlocks her brain. The movie revives the old tale that most humans only use about 10% of their brains. But is it true? Joining us now to tell us more about this is Dr. Devi Nampia Barampal. Did I get it right? Yes, perfectly. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, from NYU School of Medicine, we've heard this before. It makes for great theater in a movie, yeah. but is there any fact in it whatsoever? Well, it comes, it's not true, so no, there isn't a fact there, but it's appealing because we like to think that we have a lot of potential and we're not using our entire brains. We're not doing everything that we can do. I mean, it comes from a couple different things. So there are psychologists in the past and a famous neurosurgeon who said that we're not using our full brains, but these were based on um, like faulty studies in a sense. There were silent areas of the brain, but now with newer technology, we can see we actually use our full brain. So we use our full brain 100%? We do, so yeah. So there's not a lot of unlocked potential? <laughs> yeah, there's no there interest space no there potential. I can use? No, there is still potential, but the thing to think about, like in terms of the technology, if you do MRIs or PET scans, there are different types that show that we have blood flow to our entire brain. And if you just think about it intuitively, like if you have a stroke, even a minor stroke, you can lose so much function in terms of using your arm, your legs, being able to speak. So we do use our entire brain, but there's still a lot of potential that we can tap into. So that part is true. I mean, part of it may be how we use our brains, like we're using different parts of it. I have not seen the movie, but I've seen the trailer yeah. several times, and it gives the illusion that if you could tap into this, un this unwanted part of your brain that you don't use, that you could actually move things with your mind or stop, or stop time which obviously sounds great for theater. I wish yeah. I could do it. I'd, I'd be very good at, the, at Las Vegas gambling, but the idea that that's even possible, we've seen it in movies for, for decades yeah, now. Yeah, we've seen that. That part I'm not sure about, but some of the other things, I mean, she's able to learn things faster than we normally can. So we'd like to think that we'd be more efficient at processing. Faster downloads. Yeah, exactly, at looking at things and learning it. I mean, that might be possible, but um, in terms of moving stuff, I'm not sure. I mean, some of the other things you can see, like just in terms of being a child and and growing to become an adult, use different parts of your brain more efficiently. So when you're younger, you can pick up languages very quickly. You learn how to walk and do different and motor activities. There's some truth to it. I mean, you might not be able to have ESP, yeah. but the brain is a muscle, right? You keep exactly. hearing that there are things that you can do to sort of further your potential, if not exactly reach super superpower status. Yeah, so it's not, uh, technically it's not a muscle, but the same idea that if you practice it with it, if you use it for different things, that you'll develop further areas. That's like when we get older, we develop more wisdom, you know, in terms of judging character, in terms of sensing how a situation is going to go and negotiating. So that part is there too. I mean, the most important thing is to remember, you know, we focus on what our brain is actively doing, thinking, mm -hmm. you know, so we think about our thoughts and think that's what the brain is focused on. But think about everything else that it manages in the meantime, all our body functions that we don't have to think about, and even ignoring all the things that go on in the environment. For example, if you think about driving, you know, you're focused on the road, but you know what to recognize, the lights, the pedestrians. You're not thinking about all the other stuff that you have to ignore, like the temperature in the car, you know, the radio, all the distractions that could mess you up. So the brain is doing two different functions, actively focusing on something and actively ignoring a bunch of other things. All right, Dr. <laughs> Devi Nampia Parampel with a fascinating discussion this morning. Thanks nice so much for coming. Great to see you, you too. You Take care. <laughs>